Do you remember Sports Chalet? Sports Chalet was a sporting goods store that opened in 1959 and they closed in 2016 when they went out of business. Sports Chalet! We take it to the limits. Sports Chalet! We we'll we'll take you to the limits. Sports Chalet! We'll take you to the limits. Sports Chalet! We'll take you to the limits. We'll limit. Now it's your turn! Sports Chalet was founded on April 1st, 1959 by Norbert and Irene Olbers. The couple purchased a ski and tennis shop in La Cañada, Flint Ridge, California for $4,000. Early on, Sports Chalet stocked products that other stores did not carry, such as scuba gear and ski gear. When surfing became popular in the 1960s, Sports Chalet started to carry longboards as well as wetsuits. Olbers converted a former grocery store into a full-line sporting goods store, and an old furniture store became the ski shop. He also converted a gas station into a ski rental shop and opened a golf store down the street. The company opened its second store in 1981 in Huntington Beach, California. In the 1980s, the Olberts family began to expand their business, opening stores in areas that included Huntington Beach, Mission Viejo, and Santa Clarita. Sports Chalet started being traded publicly on the NASDAQ exchange in 1992. In 2001, Sports Chalet opened in Nevada, their first location outside of California. The headquarters building was opened in the early 2000s, and ribbon cutting ceremonies were held in August 2008 for the flagship Sports Chalet in the then La Cañada Flint Ridge Town Center. Sports Chalet struggled in the final decade. In 2014, it was sold for $17 million to Vestas Retail Group, which absorbed $50 million in debts. At its peak, there were 47 Sports Chalets in Southern California, Northern California, Arizona, Nevada, and Utah. On April 16, 2016, Sports Chalet announced that all stores would close, with May 15 being the last day for customers to use their gift cards, store credits, and that online merchandise sales had already been stopped. Giant Sports Chalet is going out of business. The chain is closing its 47 stores in Arizona, Nevada, and here in California. CBS 2's Greg Mills is live in La Cañada, where it all started. Greg? It did, Andrea, many, many years ago, and right down the block. You mentioned it being a giant, but those of us who have been here for a long, long time always think about this as being a, a mom and pop business that really, really took off. And now, something we never thought would happen, it's closing. Signs on the front door at Sports Chalet say it all. This is sad. Store closing, everything on sale, going out of business after 57 years. It's kind of sad, you know, I come here a lot for baseball and football equipment or pretty much anything I need. The end was spelled out on the store's website. I just got an email telling me that it's closing down, which is why I came. Customers and employees said they have never seen this place so packed. Discounts have started. The lines are very long. One customer said it took 45 minutes to get to the front. This isn't just some sporting goods store going out of business. It's a mom and pop sports palace, an iconic institution in Southern California. We've been shopping at Sports Chalet for over uh, 30 years. It was started by the Olbers family here in La Cañada, Flint Ridge in 1959. I remember when, before they got this store, it was just down the street and it was a small little store. Yep, on the other side of Foothill Boulevard, that old Sports Chalet was right here, where a Sprouts Market took root. Years ago, Sports Chalet moved across Foothill down Sports Chalet Drive and opened this superstore. One of 33 Sports Chalets in Southern California, all of them closing shop when merchandise runs out. It's like an end of an era. I bought my first flip flops at Sports Chalet. <laughs> and the end of a job that's putting her through college for Dominique Gonzalez. I found out yesterday. It's pretty sad. It kind of bums me out. She estimates at least 20 people work here. That might be conservative. But 20 employees, 33 yeah. Southern California stores, at 660 people losing their job. Although it can't compare to the loss the employees are unexpectedly dealing with, loyal customers are hurting too. Sports Chalet was my place, and it really hurts that they're closing down. 
We did reach out to the owners, didn't hear back from them. By the way, a lot of people are coming out and saying, empty handed and saying, hey, you know, it's only 10% that's uh, discounted. They're waiting for bigger discounts, but as one employee pointed out, by the time big discounts get here, most of the merchandise might be gone. Andrea, Peter, back to you. I'm sure those bigger discounts are on the way, though, Greg. Thanks so much. It really is the end of an era. Yeah, they're going to be missed for mm -hmm. sure. Hey, if you just watched my video, thanks for watching. Hit that like button and please subscribe to Eric C. Productions.